There's a new king in the regal royal family of sport yachts. The 4260 Commodore is not only the company's most sophisticated boat to date, but it's also their largest, bringing luxury and performance to a new level. Our engineers have created a flagship that is the dream boat of all mid-cabin express cruiser customers. It offers the best in performance and luxurious accommodations, including things like Italian hand-finished cherry wood interior, leather crest salon, and an entertainment system that is beyond belief. Offering fresh innovations on the Express Cruiser design, Regal's 4260 has one of the best cockpits for entertaining in the business. The company improved on its former flagship, the popular 4160, and increased passenger comfort even more on the new Commodore. Every inch of her 44-foot length overall is devoted to maximum comfort, and Regal has done it without sacrificing one inch of performance. The out with the old theme starts right here in the cockpit. Unlike other Express Cruisers in her class, the 4260's U-shaped six-seater bench seat faces the helm, so everyone can enjoy the view and be part of the party. Best of all, there's no more shouting for the captain. And thanks to this smart design, traffic flows easily to and from the wet bar, which has a built-in refrigerator and extra storage space. At the helm, a power-adjustable double bench offers the driver easy access to the controls and expansive views ahead and abaft. And the Burlwood accented helm panel itself is the portrait of well-laid-out instrumentation. Regal redesigned it to accommodate an optional 10-inch radar screen. When you're anchored for a picnic, a few of your crew can stretch out on the bow sun pads. But some of your best entertaining will be done down below. Wide open and flooded with sunlight, the salon uses every bit of the 14-foot beam. There's a comfy 9-foot leather sofa, which turns into a double berth for extra accommodations, and a beautiful Italian cherry wood table and expansive cabinetry above. You can prepare magnificent meals in the fully loaded galley. Side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer, microwave, coffee maker, stove, and even a set of dishes are standard. And best of all, the built-in TV VCR can be viewed from anywhere in the room. Your overnight guests will love the mid-cabin stateroom, where doors, not curtains, provide real privacy. The twin berths with inner spring mattresses convert to a queen, and there's a vanity outside the head with an overhead mirrored cabinet, which allows two people to get ready at the same time. They'll also appreciate their own head with a vacuum flush toilet and stand-up shower. Pretty good space planning for a 42-footer. The master head is also well appointed, and it has a sink with faucet and mirrored medicine cabinet. But the master stateroom is the best room in the house. You get a luxurious queen berth, tons of sunlight, a TV VCR, and plenty of storage. The king of the Regal fleet knows how to pamper its guests, but how does it do at sea? Let's take it for a ride. At 44 feet 4 inches overall and weighing just over 20,000 pounds, the 4260 cuts a confident path in any condition. Her 14-foot beam promises stability in rough seas, and thanks to her shallow prop pockets and relatively small 35 inches of draft, she gets up on a plane quickly without losing sight of the horizon for very long. On test day, she logged in some pretty good numbers, gracefully accelerating to a top speed of 39.5 miles per hour, turning 2650 RPM. Sound levels remained low in the cockpit during her cruising speeds at 29.7 miles per hour, turning 2000 RPM, making only 78 decibels and making conversation easy. With an original deck layout, impressive performance, and incredible living area below, the 4260 stands as the new king of an already impressive Regal Royal Fleet.